we've got a hole going under this blowed down tree. Not sure what it is. I think it could be an armadillo, but maybe a skunk going in and out of there. We're not sure. But this is right here behind our property, on right behind our house on our property. And uh, we're going to put this right here on kind of bare on here. I think this is a 160. If I can see on there, it's done rusted up. No, this is a 220. I wasn't absolutely sure. But we're fixing to set it, and I've already, it's already set. We've just got to put it in place and uh, and lock it down. So uh, what we're going to do is, is we're just going to set it right in here and put us a stake in there, and then we're going to tie it off good to one of these roots where if something comes out of there that it can't drag it off. I make sure that my whiskers are on top, mainly because my safety stay where they loose right now. It would be fired if something was to go wrong right now. They would still possibly catch. So that's the reason for that. This big root is kind of sort of in my way, but it is already there, and it was kind of here first, actually. I need to put that in first. Now, these are just to kind of stabilize this so that it don't fall over. They're not really holding it in place keeping it from going anywhere I should say we're gonna put a tie on that fix that where it don't go anywhere okay I got a right here a roll of wire and I'm gonna come up here and uh, get my camera where you can see I got it twisted off tied to this and uh, what I'm gonna do is cut it right here I'm gonna just kind of hook this back over here out of the way. I've learned the hard way just because this is a uh, killer trap. They don't always kill right here. I had a beaver run off with a 330. Y'all saw that in other videos. That's the first time I've had that happen, but I knew it was possible. It didn't really shock me. All right, we're gonna set a few more. All right, we stopped right here on the side of the road, but we're going to have to walk down in this ditch for a little ways. You got to get a little bit away from the road there in Mississippi to trap, so we want to stay legal, but we just got one trap. This is a 330 Connor Bear. We got one metal stake. We're going to stake it on, and this one just happened to have a good old piece of extension cord cut off of something, but that's good stout wire to hold it in place. Whatever junk you can find. But I'm going to take you with me and I'm going to show you what I found down in this covert. And I don't know right where we're going to set the trap just yet. But there's a couple of coverts up this ditch where they cross with their tractors and stuff. We're going to look and see what's going on here. First thing when I crawl down in this ditch I notice is them sticks floating right up there. See them washed up? All the bark stripped off. I'm going to show you now what I 
found up in here. Make sure this ditch ain't deeper than my boots. Let's see right here what we're going into. But look up yonder. Now there could be a hole right here where this pours out. Let me ease up in here. Yeah, we're not gonna be able to go up in there. But you see what's up there? They got the end of this dam plugged up. I'm sure they on the upper side, but now what we're gonna do is we're gonna ease right down here somewhere. And there ain't no telling what all is traveling up and down this ditch. We're gonna ease right down here somewhere and set us a trap. I just wanna tell y'all something. Just cause the water's small don't mean it ain't deep. I'm starting a tradition I already see that every time I go somewhere to set a beaver trap, you got to fall in. I'm right now wet up to my to my uh uh yeah. <laughs> there you go. Well, we done been all up and down through here. And uh the art to this right here is is I don't want to catch somebody's dog and I don't want to get the man's cows feet off in my trap, so about the only way I can do that is up in the edge of this cover. So I'm gonna look just for a second right here. And I wanted to turn the camera on because I don't know how deep this is. And if I was to fall in, I'd hate for you to miss it. Yeah, that's deep. I'm going to have to set this trap, though. Right on off over in here, I think. Let's see what happens. There's a place over in there we can see. All right, it looks to me, and I'm sure there's a loud echo up in there, covered, that this gate's washed up in here. And you see the mess we got. But it looks like they may be traveling down right through there the most. That looks like the best bet for setting our trap. There we go. I'm gonna stick you up right over here. Let's see what we can make happen. The good thing is, I can tie my trap off to this gate right here with my extension cord. trap is what I like to call hot. I think I want to put this up under there just because and I'm going to wrap this like that a few times just because I don't want it dangling in the way. I'm going to tie a couple of half hitches in it. It's wrapped good enough that they not going to pull that out and I can carry my steak back with me and use it for something else. We're going to use a couple of their sticks to staple it off. And they liable to eat them. I've heard people say don't use them, they liable to eat them. But, uh, we're going to take a chance today. We might learn a valuable lesson here. We'll wear our waders when we come back and check this. But we well over our boots. I didn't figure it out. I can't beaver trap without getting so wet. And we probably ain't supposed to be up in this cold trapping on the side of the road, but hey. 
this is about the only safe place to keep from getting this man's cows, and I'm more worried about that than I am getting a ticket. His cows is his livelihood, and I'm not gonna, I'd rather pay a ticket for being on the road bank than I had catch his cow. So if that makes sense to you, if it don't, I'll explain it later. Get them safeties off. Right. He don't want them on there. I'm going to run this right down through there. Now this is just to keep that trap from tipping over. Now what I like to do, this is not necessary, but I'm going to take a little of this hall bakers. And we're going to make sure we put some beaver scent on both sides of this thing. I'm gonna just lay a twig stuck with it on that side because depending on which way that beaver comes from tonight when he comes up through him or tomorrow or whenever it may be, we want him to want to go sniff the other side of that. And scent is cheap. Six dollars a bottle and I can catch a bunch of beavers. So we're not putting them over a lot of mountains. That's that same hall bakers I've been using. All right, folks. Well, <laughs> what that is is beaver trapping down here in the corner. <laughs> I didn't learn to keep, you, keep a cover over your axe. You walking around, I didn't slip and fail twice, slopping around on these wet banks. Uh, if you ever seen where Red Fern grows, you that little boy. And that's a movie, yeah, I understand, but it could happen to you in real life. I want you to get, get hurt and get an axe stuck in you. We're going to go see if we can find somewhere to set them up. I walk along these fence roads and I look for stuff like that right there. I don't know if you can see that. A little dab of hair there. I come on up and they ain't but one hair hanging right there. I don't know if you can see it. But you can see there's a little dab of hair on that. This is where animals are crossing those fences. And even though there's not a padded out trail, I know there's sign in this area. What we're gonna do is I'm gonna make a dirt hole right here. Now this, is, this is another ice cream bucket. Just a different kind of ice cream bucket. I knew y'all would get a kick out of that. Now I am gonna put some gloves on right here. And this is just some old cheap rubber gloves. They rubber palmed. They good in the winter and I just kind of keep these with my trapping stuff. Now this trap, it hadn't been waxed. I just pulled it up from another set that's been hanging in the shed. It has been handled a little bit with uh, I take that back, this trap has been waxed. But it has been handled a little bit. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna make us a dirt hole right here. 
but this trap here is just a this is a one and a half dupe we're gonna put us a dirt hole in right here but what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna leave everything fairly as natural as possible i'm a i don't want to get no more scent than necessary here but i'm not one of those don't touch nothing i do have a kneel pad uh, whether it's necessary or not i don't know but being that my britches are soaking wet right now i am gonna use it today i'm gonna go ahead and set my trap What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make it look like something tried to bury something here. I'm not going to use a pan cover on this particular setup. I'm going to spread some leaves back over this. Them leaves, or I mean, I, I don't want no no big sticks. And you can crumble some of them up. I don't need a huge deep hole. I'm gonna just water that out a little bit. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna stake my trap down. kind of just make sure you ain't got no big sticks and them leaves will be all right that leaves kind of damp but a few leaves work just as well let me go get some scent okay here's what we're gonna use we got some mount olive uh, jalapeno slices we're gonna put in there <laughs> not really what this is is some bait I made. It's fish, tuna. I don't know what all I mixed up in there. This is some uh, Hall Baker's Red Fox urine. And this is some Hellfire. Reason I'm right here is I seen a skunk back here the other day.
Jeff Dunlap's good lure. All right, I'm gonna take. Uh, I just use this as an oil bottle from a uh, a gun cleaning kit. It's a lubricant bottle. It had been washed out and aired out for a year or so, sitting there empty. I had saved it, but it's got a little spigot on there. Man, you can squirt that urine just wherever you want to. Works good. Now I'm gonna put me a little dab of bait down in that hole. Put it kind of liberally. All right, that's all there is to it. We'll come back and check them in the next day or two. I decided for a little bit of flat, I'd throw a few feathers in there. A few feathers laying around right there, hanging on that. I don't really like the color of this camera, the way the lens looks. It's hard for me to tell what I can see in the, in the focus, but that's it. All right. We're coming up on our trout here. Look right over yonder. No. I put my waders on today. Ain't no need to just keep being stupid, is it? Little, little frost. I don't know if you can see it on top of them hay bales and stuff. So we didn't want to get wet this morning. We got our setters with us. Makes this a lot easier. This is a deep little hole right here. But anyway, we got a beaver in there, guys. Something been chewing on his foot, so I. From what I'm thinking, that's probably another beaver. Uh, could be turtles. I don't know. I've put it on Facebook and asked some of the guys in, on Facebook what they thought it was. Pretty much the same thing that I kind of thought. Uh, I didn't know maybe a uh, mink would might would do this. So we're going to uh, keep checking that trap. We reset it in there. Uh, but we fixing to skin him out. I may do a video on cooking this one later on, but... We cut us a little firewood, got all sweaty, had to get all clothes changed, even with the frost. I had on too many clothes to cut firewood. <laughs> Thank y'all for watching. Hit like, subscribe to these videos. I really appreciate your support I'm trying to grow this channel. I want to put out content that you enjoy. So y'all will be coming back with another one before long.